Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to take a look at how our politicians and businessmen benefit the Western economy by putting their money into Western banks. Firstly, in, in order to understand the whole picture, what we need to understand is the way banking works nowadays, and especially the fractional banking system. Banks are allowed to create money through a system called fractional reserve banking. Whenever you deposit money, the bank is legally required to keep a certain percentage of it somewhere safe, but can lend everything else. Here's an example based on a 10% reserve requirement. John goes to his bank and deposits $1,000. John's bank keeps $100 and lends the remaining $900 to Mike. There is now $1,900 in the financial system, John's $1,000 deposit, and Mike's $900 loan. Next, Mike uses the $900 to buy a laptop from Karen. Then Karen deposits her $900 at another bank. The bank keeps 10% and lends the remaining $810 to George. There is now $2,710 in the system. John's $1,000 deposit, Karen's $900 deposit, and George's $810 loan. This goes on and on until John's initial $1,000 is turned into approximately $10,000. So for every $1, that one of our corrupt politicians or billionaires puts into a Western bank, they can create $10. So they're not only benefiting from the billions that our leaders and rich people are investing into Western banks, but it also allows them to create more money. Imagine that. Now let me give you an example. The UK government says it will return 4.2 million pounds of stolen assets by the former Delta State Governor James Ivory. According to the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katriona Liang, the money was recovered from friends and family members of the former governor. She found out the way many Nigerians are throwing money from the country to the UK. Earlier this year, they returned 4 million that this man stole. But this man stole about 160 million. All of that money is somewhere, and we don't know it. The Nigerian government doesn't know it. And the British government is saying that we don't know where it is. This man put at least 100 million into a Western bank. That allows them to create a billion. So this man alone gave them a billion dollars by putting 100 million into their bank. Tens of billions of dollars leave our continent and they are put into a French banks or British banks. And then they create money and they lend that money to their own governments, their own businesses, and then they develop their countries with it, and then they give us aid. Now, wouldn't it be better that if we had some sort of requirements where money couldn't leave our continent this easily? China has it. China has a very strict policies when people want to take money from their country to somewhere else. But for us, it's a free market. You can take billions in one day and just transfer it to France, and nobody will even blink an eye because we don't have any laws and systems or restrictions to stopping this capital flight. And this is hurting our development, it's hurting our economy. The money that should be in our banks so that our banks could give loans to people isn't there, it's in Western banks. And right now, I'm not blaming the Western countries. I would take money. If today a Malaysian billionaire comes to Somalia and he wants to put billions into Somali banks, why would we say no? Of course, we're not going to say no. So I can't blame them. What I'm blaming is the fact that we don't really talk about this. And our leaders, because they are themselves doing their stealing, they don't have any solutions to this. Now, if our leaders actually weren't themselves the ones who are sending money to Western banks, they could easily control this. And they could easily make laws and make systems that wouldn't allow capital to just go in and out. The individuals will benefit, the governments could benefit because they don't have to go to Western banks to get a loan. They can get loans from their own country or from more African banks. This would be very, very beneficial. Now, anyways, just wanted to make this little video. I hope you liked this. And if you did, please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment.